Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer on this fourth and final Sunday of Advent. Our uh, reading today, our gospel reading today, the beautiful telling of the story of the visitation. And uh, the uh, there's one word that's used right at the beginning of this reading that this is right after the Annunciation when Mary found out all of this good news that she would bear a son and it would be called the Son of God. So this is, uh, you know, he, she was like brand new and to this and all like, my goodness, what's going on? But then the angel also told her that her cousin, uh, Elizabeth, who was old and thought to be barren, was also expecting a child and she was already, you know, partway into her term. So Mary, it says in the reading today, went in haste to visit her cousin. Now, normally in our society, and we've always heard this expression, at least I have, uh, haste makes waste. Uh, But here we see Mary going in a hurry to visit her, her cousin, and we, we wonder, well, why, why did she rush? Why did she hurry? And the answer might be that she knew finally, after the angel appeared to her, who she truly was, who she, what her, and also what her mission was. And so she, she was not wrapped up in what we would be maybe caught up in uh, an ego drama uh, where we we talk about you know i'm doing this and and it's you know i'm producing this drama i'm directing it and most importantly i'm starring in it it's all about me and it's just so boring but mary on the other hand recognized god's call and she recognized her role in the Theo drama, God's plan for her, God's <clears throat> production, <clears throat> if you will. And so she had focus, direction, and purpose, and she was able to go uh, in haste to her cousin. And, uh, you know, when we're in our ego drama, we're focused inwardly on ourselves. And if we're doing anything we're just spinning around in circles but now mary has direction focus purpose and she goes in haste to visit her cousin elizabeth when she arrives her cousin too understood she that she had a purpose in life and recognized she said they said in scripture that she was filled with the holy spirit and said, how is it that the mother of my Lord should come to me, recognizing the child in Mary's womb to be not just a human person, but to be a divine person. And so they shared in this theodrama, both of them, Mary and Elizabeth, and even John the Baptist, who was in the womb of Elizabeth, imitating his ancestor David, when David found the Ark of the Covenant and brought it to Jerusalem, he did a joyful dance, a celebratory dance in, in front of the, the presence of God in the Ark of the Covenant. And now John the Baptist, within the womb of his mother, does his own version of David's joyful dance in front of the new Ark of the Covenant, the, the presence of God within the womb of Mary leaping for joy uh, at the sound of her voice. So we have all of these people participating in this theodrama, in this, this participating in God's will for their, for their lives. Now, this happened 2,000 years ago, but even today we are called to participate in the Theo drama ourselves. We are called to, as the hymn says, go tell it on the mountain. We know that the Lord, you know, the birth of our Lord and everything was was God coming into the world. So we too celebrate 
like John the Baptist in the womb of his mother. We should leap for joy at the coming of Christ and as we long for his second coming too. So we participate in the theodrama. We don't busy ourselves with our own self-centeredness, but we enter into God's plan, God's will for us in our lives. And we, like Mary Elizabeth and John the Baptist, can enter into God's will also, knowing that we have the mission now to evangelize, to go out and preach the gospel, the good news to everyone we meet. So let us pray our evening prayer together this evening in the hopes that we can put aside our egos and our own wills and enter into God's plan for us. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. See how glorious he is, coming forth as Savior of all peoples. The Lord's revelation to my Master Sit at my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. <laughs> See how glorious he is, coming forth as Savior of all peoples. Crooked paths will be straightened and rough ways made smooth. Come, O Lord, do not delay. Alleluia. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Open-handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. The wicked man sees and is angry, grinds his teeth, and fades away. The desire of the wicked leads to doom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you are the eternal light which illumines the hearts of good people. Help us to love you, to rejoice in your glory, and so to live in this world as to avoid harsh judgment in the next. May we come to see the light of your countenance. Crooked paths will be straightened and rough ways made smooth. Come, O Lord, do not delay. Alleluia. Ever wider will his kingdom spread, eternally at peace. Alleluia. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. 
His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia, sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Ever wider will his kingdom spread, eternally at peace. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. Everyone should see how unselfish you are. The Lord is near. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation your mercy and love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, show us your mercy and love. O flower of Jesse's stem, you have been raised up as a sign for all peoples. Kings stand silent in your presence, and nations bow down in worship before you. Come, let nothing keep you from coming to our aid. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O flower of Jesse's stem, you have been raised up as a sign for all peoples. Kings stand silent in your presence. The nations bow down in worship before you. Come, let nothing keep you from coming to our aid. To Christ the Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, let us pray with joyful hearts. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, in the mystery of your incarnation, you revealed your glory to the world. Give us new life by your coming. Come, Lord Jesus. You have taken our weakness upon yourself. Grant us your mercy. Come, Lord Jesus. You redeemed the world from sin by your first coming in humility. Free us from all guilt when you come again in glory. Come, Lord Jesus. You live and rule over all in your goodness. Bring us to our e eternal inheritance. Come, Lord Jesus. You sit at the right hand of the Father. Gladden the souls of the dead with your light. Come, Lord Jesus. Yes, Joseph, I'm almost done play with you. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. And as you revealed to us by an angel the coming of your Son as man, so lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection. 
for he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday night all, and uh, we'll face Monday together tomorrow. We'll see you then.